There are several ways to go about getting a handheld camera movement uh, in Lightwave and, and of course probably the, f the first way would be to just set your keyframes is to go in and hand animate it but that might be become uh, more of a challenge than you think to get the look you're after of this random handheld type movement. Uh, you could go into with the camera selected you could go into the graph editor and under modifiers choose add modifier noisy channel and with noisy channel you can barely see it right here so I'm going to crank this up to say five okay and you can get random values on whatever channel you want or channels you want right now I'm just applying it to the X and so as I scrub through the camera is kind of shaking around because of the, the noisy channel uh, and you could adjust those values so it wasn't so extreme but for me I'm gonna remove that for me I think there's an even easier way and it's a it's a way that's worked for me in the past we've used it on uh, on several movies uh, Batman New Times comes to mind uh, to get the the handheld camera look and uh, I thought we could take a look at that so the first thing I'm gonna do is switch to camera view so that I can actually see what um, what the camera is gonna see and then what I'm gonna do is on frame zero I'm just gonna move in a little closer and instead of 60 frames, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 180 frames. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that auto key is on. And I'm going to move my frame slider to say 120. That's going to give me a few frames to get ready because I'm going to push play. And I'm going to start creating keyframes on the fly just by clicking in the window and dragging. So I could start it at zero, but I, I like to go ahead and start it. I mean, it could be anywhere in here, but I'm going to start it around 120, 130, anywhere in there, and push play so that when it gets around to zero, I'm ready to start uh, moving. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to push play, and I'm ready to start moving. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm just barely moving my mouse. And because auto key is on, I recorded that movement. So now I'm not doing anything. It's playing back. And I've got a little bit of, of movement. Now I don't have any Y movement uh, on this right now. Uh, and uh, we can always go back and do it. We could also add that to another item. But let's just say that this is enough little handheld movement that we want. Now it might be a little extreme, but we'll see when we start doing more animation with our camera. Um, it might uh, work out just fine. So I'm going to go over to the perspective view. And you can see the camera just kind of hovering. Let me zoom in so you can see the, the motion path for the camera right here. See how it just kind of swivels around? That's me moving my mouse as it was playing through. Okay. The, the more subtle I move my mouse, well, the, the, the tighter the area that that movement's going to be in. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is create a null object so let's do add null and I'm gonna call this cam ROT for rotate click OK I'm gonna take the camera M for motion options parent to the null then I'm gonna take that null and on frame 180 uh, in the heading I'm gonna do 360 degrees and then I'm going to scrub through just so you can see the camera is now rotating around the character. Okay, So it's going to rotate around the character, but I still have all the keyframes that the, the camera has. Okay, So let me, uh, let me go to the camera view and push play. And so now we're moving around the character, but there's some slight little handheld glitches that are going now uh, in the playback of the video that you're watching right now um, the frame rate is probably going to be different so it might be a lot more jittery it's 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 subtle on here uh, on the actual lightwave playback but just keep in mind that when uh, when the, the video that you're watching gets compressed it will um, it will change a little bit so you want to give this a, a test so this is just rotating around the the character um, if I wanted to, I could also just take this null that I'm rotating and slightly move it up and down. And well, let's just give that a go. So I'm going to hit T for move. And I'm going to use the right mouse button for this. And I'm going to set it, say, around 140, just a little lead time. 
and I'm barely, I'm just kind of shifting my mouse a little bit. Okay, so now I'm getting, uh, it, with, my, with my null, that's the parent of the camera, I'm getting a little up and down motion. So I'm adding more, a uh, little more subtle movement. So uh, the, the, the parent is moving up and down and also spinning the camera around. And the camera just has a little bit of uh, X and Z movement uh, for, you know, for that, that little handheld look. So again, quick and, uh, quick and dirty way of getting a handheld camera. You're not limited to spinning it around. You can do sweeping motions and, and pans and tilts and all kind of stuff. It's you have to decide, you know, what you want to do. But it's the, the trick is, is um, pushing play with auto key on and just start moving it. This also isn't limited to handheld cameras. You can animate items in your scene this way. Uh, and if you don't like uh, a certain motion, if you go, oh yeah, but it's not exactly what I'm after, nothing stops you from opening up the, the dope track, selecting all the keyframes, right clicking, and deleting those keys, push play, and do it again. So I found that, um, that within uh, two or three goes, I get exactly what I'm after uh, and uh, get a nice handheld look. Uh, really quick and it saves me the time of having to hand key all of these different keyframes in hopes of making it look random.